friends welcome to darshan journey in this video i am super excited to discuss about one of the most remarkable projects of isro none other than chandrayaan 3 The mission Chandrayaan-3 is a lunar exploration endeavor aiming to achieve a soft landing at the lunar south pole. The goal is to explore a region suspected to contain ice and water with potential implications for oxygen sourcing or future lunar habitation. Chandrayaan-3 comprises of three key components: the orbiter, the lander known as Vikram and the rover named Pragyan. Let's now delve into the functions of each part. Orbiter. The orbiter is a spacecraft that orbits the moon, collecting invaluable data about the lunar geology and transmitting it back to the Earth. This data facilitates comprehensive studies of the moon's geological characteristics and features. Moving on, the next element of Chandrayaan-3 is the land, Vikram. Tailored for a precise soft landing on the lunar south pole surface, Vikram gathers surface data and transmits to it to Earth, providing critical insight for ISRO scientists. Lastly, the final part of Chandrayaan-3 is a small robotic vehicle named Pragyan serving as the rover. Designed to explore lunar surface, Pragyan gathers terrain information and transmits it back to Earth for analysis. With the, all the components covered, let's proceed to explore the five stages of Chandrayaan-3 mission. The first stage is the launch, followed by the second stage is the translunar injection. The third stage encompasses lunar orbit intersection. The followed by the fourth stage involving descent and landing. The fifth and final stage is the surface operations. Now that we have outlined these stages, allow me to elaborate on each one in detail. Let's begin by delving into the first stage of Chandrayaan-3, the launch. The mission commences with the spacecraft launch using LVM-3, also known as Launch Vehicle Mark-3, propelling the spacecraft into space. This launch vehicle places the spacecraft on the trajectory towards the moon. Position it using a slingshot-like effect. Moving on to the next stage, Translunar Intersection. Once a spacecraft successfully reaches the Earth's orbit, it executes a maneuver to propel itself towards the moon. This maneuver, TLI, transitions the spacecraft out of Earth's orbit, aligning it with a trajectory leading to the moon. The subsequent stage is Lunar Orbit Intersection, LOI. As the spacecraft approaches the moon, a critical maneuver captures it within the moon gravity, facilitating entry into the lunar orbit. This maneuver, known as lunar orbit insertion, marks a significant step in the mission. Following LOI, the descent and landing stage. With the spacecraft positioned in the lunar orbit, the lander Vikram separates from the orbiter and begins its controlled descent towards the lunar surface. Advanced on onboard propulsion systems ensure a safe and accurate landing, allowing Vikram to gently touch down the moon surface. Finally, we have the surface operation. Once the lander, rover or scientific instruments land on the moon, they activate an initial scientific experiments and data collection. These instruments and the rover conduct valuable research sending back, the da sending back data to the Earth. Mission control on Earth can be remotely operate these instruments using the orbiter on the communication delay. Next is the key highlights. Chandrayaan-3 is launched on 14 July 2023. One lunar day is 14 Earth days. Can you believe it? And the mass of Chandrayaan-3 is huge. It's 1749.86 kg. My man! Orbiter of Chandrayaan-3 is also used as a receiver. Hmm. Well, good to know extra information, right? ISRO conducted moon landing test with soil samples from Gunnamalai village, Namakal, Tamil Nadu.
LVM-3, also known as Launch Vehicle 3, was tested using 3,000 wind tunnels in Bangalore facility. Oh my God! That was a lot of effort. The Chandrayaan-3 was launched from Sriharikota since it's, since it's nearby to the equator. So now let's go to... I am delighted that Chandrayaan-3 has successfully landed on the lunar south pole surface and I believe this mission will greatly contribute to future lunar endeavors. I would like to express my gratitude to all of the staff who are involved in making this mission a reality. Thank you and have a wonderful day.